welcome back to my channel so I thought I'd do a little sort of like what's in my makeup bag sort of video and uh, please excuse the way I look because I've literally just got in from work and I've been wanting to do this video for quite a long time because I do like watching these sorts of videos because they give me a sort of idea on what makeup products I'd like to use and stuff like that so I thought I'd do a little kind of what's in my makeup bag video for you guys um thing is though I don't really have a makeup bag because mine always break so what I do have instead <laughs> is a little body shop bag which I put all my makeup in so yeah first thing I have is obviously a beauty blender and yes I do use these quite a lot I think I've got two two others in here of this because I just love beauty blenders and I normally buy them because I can't be asked to wash them because they are literally a bugger to wash so <laughs> I bought uh two more of these which I can see if I can find them bear with with. <laughs> yes so these are the three beauty blenders that I have so I have a real techniques one which is this one um and then these two I actually bought from Poundland because that one got covered in lipstick and I just couldn't be asked to wash it out so I thought I'd buy two more so I got one with a flat end which is like this which is very very good for blending Ew, sorry I got makeup all over my hand, look at that, and I've only been in my makeup bag for about two minutes. So yeah, I used the flat end for basically going around my face and stuff like that, and then I used the pointy end to get into the creases and under my eyes. And the same with that one you just have is, which is a busted old makeup palette, because I love this makeup palette. It is the Revolution Makeup Revolution London I palette and this is essential mattes too so this is what it looks like and yes it's all cracked because everything goes on top of this so it comes with a little applicator like that double-ended applicator and then these are the colors that comes in it as you can see, I don't really use matte colours that much or neutral colours because I quite like my vibrant colours blur over my eyes and then I just use that to, you know, press it in and stuff so it doesn't crease. So I use that. Next thing I have in here is, again, another Revolution palette, but this is the Ultra Contour palette. And this is what it looks like. So, as you can tell, I do use this palette quite a lot. Um, I use this colour quite a lot because I do bronze quite a bit and I use that one just to sort of, you know, go over the contour if I make a mistake or anything like that. So, but I use this highlighter quite a bit as well. This is quite a nice highlighter. So I use that one. That one's more like a bronze sort of highlighter. But I use that one more than that one. So I think they're really pretty. Um, they are matte as well but when you mix into the highlighter here um they do add glitter in all the others so then they turn into pigmented instead of matte which is kind of annoying but is the revolution love conquers all makeup palette i actually got this uh free last year on valentine's day um because it was basically buy any Revolution stuff under £20 or something like that, or £20 or over. And then you got a free Love Conquers All uh, palette. So let's open her up and have a look. As you can see, I really use that pinky shade here more um, because I do like my pinks. I am a pink fan. Um, this one here is like a highlighter, so... If I just show you on here what it's like, so on here, I don't know if you can see that well, 
that are like shimmers like that which is really nice so I tend it gives it more of like um a pinky sort of tone so if you like pinky highlighters uh this one I would definitely recommend but I do use pinky highlighters but I prefer the natural lit um highlighters so for like my other palette so I tend to use that one quite a lot but it does have like bronze gold black pink neutral and a whitey shimmer one there as well which I don't really use that much but these two I do use because I use that as a transition colour and that one for you know my full glam base look um but this one and that one I wore when I did my drive with me which was a drive with us sort of video and they were the two shadows that I wore in my makeup look yesterday so which <laughs> I will reveal now I did not like my makeup yesterday um it was a trial. I never wear eyeliner because I don't like it. But I thought I'd give it another go and see how it goes. And I watched back that video on YouTube and I just, I didn't like my makeup at all. I prefer the natural glam. But I do do, um, like different makeup, um, ideas and eyeshadow looks and stuff like that because I like experimenting so... Yeah, I thought I'd experiment on that day and I didn't like it, so I won't be doing that again. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Uh, the next thing I have in my makeup bag is the Revolution um, Dark Rain palette, which is here. Um, I actually bought this for Halloween last year because it had um, a gorgeous purple that I could use to sort of um do my other half's makeup well when i say makeup i mean like face paint because he was like a dead zombie so i technically used the dark purple to make his eyes look really like dead basically if you're not dead and my phone there we go we are back in focus okay so here are the colors that come in it so it's quite vibrant colors because you got the red and the glittery red, the black, the glittery black, purple, and so on, green, blue, brown, beige, and white. So I do use the browns more, because I don't know why, but I just think that brown suits me better. Um, it's probably because I have very green eyes, and they normally say that green suits uh, green-eyed people, but I personally do not think it does. I personally like browns uh red doesn't really suit me that much so i don't really wear red that much but the purple i love um and the black i tend to use i have in here is the max factor cream puff press powder and this is in the shade uh 81 truly fair so that's the one and it's this one so as you can Zell tell, I do use this one quite a lot because I do have quite fair skin. I'm very light, but I do feel that this one is kind of dark for me uh, compared to the other powders that I've been using and stuff like that. But I do love the smell of this. This smells, I just think it smells like baby powder. It's so nice. That's probably why I like using it so much. Because I like that some powders have a scent. And, you know, and you wear that on your face and people just smell you and be like, Oh, you smell beautiful. <laughs> and I look beautiful as well. So <laughs> that's what I thought, you know. But I do use it quite a lot. But in my makeup bag is obviously false eyelashes. This is the Aphrodite. Uh, dramatic eyelashes with glue and this is by oh, it was by Fern McCann oh I didn't know that um surprisingly I bought these from Poundland yeah I know um because I'd never worn false eyelashes before um and I wanted to try them again because they never seem to work for me 
but I thought I'd try them and I'm absolutely addicted to these now. I may have to buy some more of these because um, I absolutely love false eyelashes now. They are the balm. Why? I've never got used to them before. I have no idea, but they are the balm. Bourgeois Paris 54 Rose Frisian, uh, I was going to say bronzer then, blusher. So this is actually my first time ever purchasing a bourgeois uh, makeup because I always found they were a bit expensive, but I actually got this in the sale uh, at my local beauty shop. So this is the shade that I got, you can see, which is like a shimmery, light pink sort of tone, if I can show on here, no, it can't show, <laughs> but again, this has another mm, luscious smell, <laughs> again, this smells like baby powder as well. Um, normally I used to wear like really dark pinks, uh, pink blush, but I wanted to change so I thought I'd go in and see which was the lightest and I saw that this was the lightest so yeah, it's not a lot actually, no not a lot, um, Yeah, next thing I have is the Revlon Colour Stay Foundation in the shade 110 Ivory. This is the 24 hours uh, matte stay. This is the normal dry skin version. So this is the one that I have. And as you can tell, it is very light because I have very light skin. It doesn't have a brush or anything. It's literally just open and you tip. And pour on the back of your hand get your beauty blender or your brush just dab it in pop it all over your face and then you're done and then powder blusher whatever you want to add on and then you're done and the Rimmel London lasting finish 25 hour breathable in the say in the shade 100 ivory this is a medium coverage foundation and this one I tend to mix these two together because this one can sometimes be very uh, light for my skin and this one can be very dark for my skin so I tend to mix them together and they make the perfect shade so but I do love this one because it comes with what I call a magic wand applicator so you just take it out and it comes out like this <gasps> look at it it's like a magic wand I love it <laughs> So they're my two foundations that I have. Um, next thing I have in here is the W7 Night Glow Highlighter. So I also have cream highlighter as well. But I don't always wear cream highlighter because I always feel that if I put some on it takes my makeup off. Which isn't good so I tend to use powders more than liquid highlighters but I like to keep it in my makeup bag just in case um, I run out of powdered highlighter then at least I have some highlighter I'm good to go so yeah <laughs> bag is the Maybelline New York Superstay Better Skin uh, Skin Perfecting Concealer in the shade 01 Fair so this is what I use for concealer so I basically just put it under my eyes on the bridge of my nose on my cupid's arrow um and also on my forehead as well so just to brighten it up a bit um but yeah this i absolutely love it doesn't crinkle it doesn't leave me with any dry skin or anything like that it's oh it's amazing it really is that's in my makeup bag the next thing i have is the makeup gallery uh coal me beautiful soft coal um brow pencil i didn't actually realize this this is actually an eyeliner but i use it as a brow pencil um but yeah this is also from poundland as well so oh my god everything's going all over the place <laughs> so yeah this is the coal me 
beautiful eyeliner slash brow pencil so yeah and it's basically just like this so I do use it a lot that's what I'm wearing right now on my brows as you can see I'm actually really proud of my brows today because they actually behave themselves and they normally don't so <laughs> so yeah so that's um my brow pencil that I use so on a daily basis I actually had to buy a new one um the other day so these are actually from Poundland yeah no <laughs> but right next thing I have is the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara which is right here this is actually a sample funny thing is I don't actually know where I got it from but this is what the brush looks like you can see it but I use this on a daily basis I absolutely love this, this, this mascara this mascara literally makes my eyelashes really long and full so I don't really need to wear false eyelashes if I wear this because it makes them look like I've got false eyelashes but it also makes them look natural as well which is what you want two lipsticks so I have the MAC lipstick in the shade Liptensity MAC Liptensity Ambrosial and it's basically like a, a purple so if I put it on here actually if I put it on my arm so that's what it's like it's like a really light purpley pinky sort of color but I absolutely love this this was the first um MAC product I ever bought and not someone else buying for me I actually bought this with my own money I know shocker Ugh. but no I did I bought this myself I also bought the lip liner with it as well um but I used that up uh so now I just have the lipstick and I gotta be very careful with that because <laughs> I kind of put that in a very awkward place so that's one of the lipsticks I have in my makeup bag. Uh, the next one is the Rimmel. Uh, Rimmel the Matte Factor in the shade 810. So this is more like a dark red. I normally use this on a, a daily basis because it's quite a dark red. So... well pinky red but as you can tell it is a very dark color because I normally wear dark colored lipsticks I don't really wear light colored lipsticks like that one I tend to wear normally lipstick colors like that one but I thought mm, switcheroo you know so that's what I have in there so yeah so thank you guys very much for watching my uh, video I really hope you enjoyed this video I am so close to 100 subscribers so please 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 keep subscribing liking and commenting also I will be doing a get to know me slash Q&A video as well so if you have any questions for me beauty related or random related then don't forget to comment them down below and I will also give you a big shout out in that video as well. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!